This short video will show you how to create and edit shelving locations using the Copy Locations Editor in Sitka Evergreen. Users with local system administrator permissions can create new copy locations, also known as shelving locations, or edit existing copy locations in the Evergreen staff client. To access the Copy Locations Editor, click on Admin, select Local Admin, and select Copy Locations Editor. To create a new shelving location, simply type in the name and select yes or no for the various attributes. OPAC Visible makes the shelving location visible in the OPAC. Hold Verify if set up will generate a prompt when an item is captured for a hold. Check and Alert will prompt staff to route the item to the location when checking in items with this location. Label prefix and label suffix, if set up, will be automatically included when printing spine labels. Text in the label prefix and suffix fields will automatically be added to spine labels printed, but it does not affect OPAC or staff client display. Holdable means a patron is able to place a hold on an item in this location, and circulate means items in this location are able to circulate. We are going to name our new location Seasonal Display. It will be OPAC visible, holdable, and items in this location can circulate. Once finished, we'll just click create a new copy location. We'll get an update succeeded message and we can click OK. Now, whether an item can be circulated, holdable, or visible on OPAC is controlled by three factors. Item status, shelving location, and item attributes. Evergreen follows the sequence to check the value of each factor until it encounters a no. Any an item can be circulated, holdable, or visible on OPAC when all three factors are set to yes. Now another important thing to remember, after creating or deleting a copy location, you will need to clear your cache and log out of the staff client to see your changes in the copy editor. To clear your cache, you will click Admin, select for Developers, and clear cache. Once that's done, you can select File and Quit Program. Once you have logged back into Evergreen and reloaded the Copy Locations Editor, you can scroll through the list to see your new location. Ours was Seasonal Display, and we can see it listed down here. Now in the bottom part of the Copy Locations Editor, you can edit or delete existing copy locations using the Edit or Delete buttons. It's important to note that you cannot delete an existing location that contains items. Now to edit an existing location, you can just click on Edit. We can change the label and we'll add a space in Book Club. You can also change any of the settings for the shelving location. Once you've made the required changes, just hit Submit. You'll get another Update Succeeded message and hit OK. Now it is not uh, necessary for you to log out or clear your cache to see edits to existing copy locations. Thank you for watching this video and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.